Hi, this is Daniel Kalina from WCI Consulting, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Merge Dimension feature within Web Intelligence, uh, which is the main reporting tool for the Business Objects platform. So I'm going to start off by creating a simple query here using just one of our sample databases uh, called eFashion. So I'm going to bring in a couple of dimensional objects. So let's bring in uh, year. I'll come down here to store and bring in state. And then we'll bring in a measure, so sales revenue. Now what I like to do for simplicity's purposes, I like to rename these queries uh, to something that makes a little more sense uh, in the report. So I'll call this one revenue. Okay, we'll go ahead and run this query. Okay, so you see here we have the year, the state, and the sales revenue. Now, if we want to add a second query um, where we want to have an additional uh, metric that we can see here, we can come up here to data access and to edit. And I'm going to create a new query. Uh, in this case, I'll go ahead and choose the universe again and choose our eFashion universe. And I'll create, I'll bring in the same dimensions from the first report, from the first query. Now this time we're going to select a different measure, so this time we'll select quantity sold. Let's change our query name here. Okay, so now we have two queries, revenue and quantity, coming from the same universe. So I'm going to go ahead and run these two queries. Now what you notice here is it asks me if I want to write the new query data into a new table in a new report. The reason it's doing this is the two queries, as it currently stands, do not have a correlation between the two of them. So they can't be merged into the same table. So for now, we'll select insert a table in the current report. You see here on the left we have sales revenue, and on the right we have quantity sold. Now if we try, I'm going to delete this table here, we try to bring in quantity sold into this report table, you'll see it's repeating the same quantity sold item for every line, every year, and every state. And this isn't what we want. So to associate these two separate queries, revenue and quantity, that's what we'll be using merge dimensions. So to do that, come here up to your data access tab and select merge. Okay. So for right now, we're going to select year as our dimension and click OK. So you'll notice here the quantity sold items change, but we still see some repetitions. The reason is, it's since we selected year, it's able to differentiate between the years. So 2004, we have 53,000, but 2005, we have 79,000. But we're still getting uh, repeated values for the different states. So if we want to include states as well, then we'll need to also merge the state dimension. Okay, now as you can see, we have for every state across every year, we're able to have the sales revenue and quantity sold, and they're different across all the other items. One thing to note here is for merge dimensions, you can only merge dimensions and you cannot merge measures. They don't have to be the same name, so you can have two separate name dimensions. What you do need is for them to have the same uh, data type. Um, another thing is if you're wanting to merge, for example, a date uh, object, you'll, they'll need to be formatted the same. So for instance, if it's formatted for a year, 2004, 2004, uh, you can't join to another, you can't merge to another object uh, date field that may only give you the fiscal year 04. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed our video. And for more content, please subscribe to our channel.